Okay, so today we want to take a look inside one of these JBL GO 2 Bluetooth speakers. So uh, let's tear this thing down. So the speaker is uh, waterproof, so it will be a little bit harder to get inside. So actually the only place we can get in is from here from the front through this uh, metal here. And so we want to remove first this metal grid and it is glued in place. So I'm going to use my pocket knife here first and I'm going to cut around this. So I didn't really have an option to figure out how this works first. So uh, I'm actually not doing a great job here, but uh, now this will give you the opportunity to learn from this. So. Uh, look out like what to do and what not to do and also during the uh, video here I'm also having a different hiccup here and something that you can learn from in order to uh, prevent the speaker from being damaged so uh, yeah definitely keep watching and check out where else you might or you may fall into like a little pit here and damage the speaker by accident okay so but now so let me first here go all around here with my knife and loosen this up here. So I'm going to detach the metal grid from the rubber here that's going around. And so the this metal is actually glued in place really well and it's glued in all the way and inside and outside. So just going around here doesn't really do it. Or at least it's really hard to do it. So let me skip forward here a little bit until the point where I have this piece almost out and there you can see here on the right side so where the uh, charging port is there is this little opening here in the metal grid where you are supposed to pry this piece out I mean it's still going to be really difficult but at least there's a spot where you can uh, eventually get into as opposed to the rest of the metal here. So here now as I'm taking it out, you can see in here in a second what I'm talking about. Here as you see on the on the right side, there's this little cutout that you can uh, eventually go into with the screwdriver or something and then maybe you have an easier time getting this piece out. But yeah, as I mentioned before, this is really glued in well. So it's not going to come off easy. Okay, so then let's uh, keep going. Now here on the top we can see here this little hole here that's for the LED. Then we have here the all range speaker and then here a passive radiator. Okay, for the base. Okay, so then what are we looking at? We have six screws here. I'm marking those for you here really quick. You want to remove every single one of them and then let's keep going. I'm using my pocket knife here again to pry out the front here and that is pretty easy and then here ta -da, we are looking at the insides here. So first I'm going to disconnect here the wire to the speaker. It's really easy, it's just a simple connector. We have here from the inside we see the speaker and then also the radiator and then here you have like this it's not it's like a rubbery seal probably to help make this speaker waterproof and then the, let's take a look at the electronics here let's see what else we can take out so first on the right side here you can see the uh, charging port, the micro USB charging port and then also the auxiliary port, it's all in one please. And then down here there's also this other connector that's probably going to a microphone. So when you use, when you want to use the speaker here for uh, phone calls. So let me remove that one first so uh, since this connector is really easily accessible. And so is also here the uh, 
connector for the micro USB charging port and the auxiliary that goes off really easy and now let me try to uh, get the board out and in order to do that we have here two more screws one in the upper right corner and then one here in the lower left yeah and as soon as those are removed you can lift the board out here now it's just connected to the battery below so you still have to connect you have to disconnect the battery here and at this point is actually where i had this little accident so let me show you this again as i'm pulling it out you can actually see this here in the video pretty good so notice what is falling out there or falling onto the battery so uh, when you pull out the connector when you disconnect it you have this tiny capacitor in the way there and I accidentally ripped it off so uh, yeah there's some work for me to do here this needs to be uh, reattached yeah and here you can see how uh, tiny this piece is so uh, yeah be careful and don't do the same mistake that I did and uh, rip this off so uh, but now let's continue disassembling this here and I'm going to continue here with the uh, USB port and the auxiliary port and that's uh, attached by two screws and then here it's uh, glued on to the side as well so you need to pry that off and then add the last piece here that's the battery in case you're interested in here the label I'm going to show you that really quick but I'm not going to take the battery out because it's also glued in and since my battery is still in a great shape I don't want to accidentally damage it Okay, so and now here, this is this is it. Everything taken apart. You see all the different parts. And uh, yeah, I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, then please leave a comment below. And don't forget to check out my other JBL videos.